Welcome back. In the previous part, we did quite a few support scenes, and we do still have quite a few left. Now, the main reason for that is because I did so much leveling up. Wrong menu, thingy button again. I always do that. So it's ever since, like, Xenoblade cropped up. It's like, it, it's just thrown off the pattern in my head completely. It's, it, it's terrible. They've got the buttons all over the place there. If only there was a way to remap it. Oh, well. So, anyway, let's look support here. We've already done Claude, Lorenz, Raphael, but we should be able to go through these much quicker because each time we finish off a character, that's one less to do on the list. So, I'm hoping we should get these done in this part. We shall see. So, Lysithia. Good morning, Lysithia. Out for a stroll, are we? It's lovely weather for it. I might go wander outside myself. I'm sure I can see some beautiful sights. Ignatz, hold still, will you? Uh, sure. Your shoes are untied. It looks sloppy. Let me just fix it for you. Oh, thank you for letting me know. But really, I'm perfectly capable of tying them myself. <laughs> Clearly that's not the case. Otherwise, this wouldn't be an issue. Now, hush. Um... There we go. Thanks. You've also got awful bedhead. What? But I examine myself in the mirror before leaving my quarters. It's the back of your head. Quite unkempt. You really should get it together. I mean, really. You're born to a noble adjacent merchant family, aren't you? You really should be more presentable. Sorry, Lysithia. You're always so perfectly put together. In fact, I'd say you're perfect in all respects. I don't think I've seen you fail at anything. Well, consider that if I make even the slightest misstep, everyone will treat me like a child. There's nothing I hate more than that. I see. Well, I think you're very mature. If anything, you may be overdoing it somewhat. I mean, people treat me like a child sometimes. But I like it, because it reminds me that other people care about me. You know? No matter how much we stretch, some things are always beyond us. I think it's fine to be vulnerable and ask for help sometimes. Ignatz, are you really lecturing me about how I conduct myself right now? You're a sheepish, unreliable scatterbrain who can only ever think about what others think of him. Perhaps you should worry about your own maturity before you start questioning mine. Although you certainly look the part of a baby, so maybe that's asking too much. Anyway, I've got things to do. So I'm gonna go now. Uh, Lysithia, wait. Hey! Out of my way. You're such a child, I swear. Hmm. That was uncalled for. After all, I am older than she is. I was thinking he really said the wrong thing at that point. It's like, oh, she's gonna snap back against him. Right, so, Marianne? Is that everything? Yes, that's the last of them. Thank you, Marianne. Just when I thought all the laundry was dry, the wind got stronger, and... By the time I realized what was happening, there were clothes dancing across the sky. That must have been frustrating to watch. I didn't imagine they would float all the way to the stables. Thanks again for helping me pick them up. It was no trouble. They landed right at my feet. Well, now I can hang it all back up before sunset. Everything should be dry by the day's end. All right, I should get to... Uh, uh! Are you all right? <laughs> uh-huh. The hamper's just a little heavier than it looks. Do you think you could give me a hand? Whew, we got here just in time. Thanks for the help hanging everything up. It was nothing. Huh. Um... What is it? I'm sorry. I know I'm not much fun to be around. I'm not very good at small talk either. Oh no, that's alright. After all, just look over there. Huh? Oh, the flowers are lovely. They were mere buds until just the other day. Now look at those gorgeous blooms. How wonderful. 
we'd been chatting away, we might never have noticed them. Sure, the laundry was an ordeal, but at least there was a silver lining. I, I could so see those two having a really good friendship. Possibly a romance, but definitely a good friendship. It's like, he seems to know how to interact with her quite well. Sorry to keep you waiting. Ready to start cleaning? No, that's all right. Actually, I'm just finishing up. Oh, it's true. Look how tidy everything is. You've done such a marvelous job. I'm glad I didn't get in your way. <laughs> Thank you very much. So anyway, you can go now. Hmm? You were talking to your friend, right? I just have some things to put away. It's okay. I can manage without you. Oh, Ignatz, I thought I saw someone earlier. That was you, wasn't it? You know, I'd have been willing to help. You could have just said, hey, let's go and clean. It's all right, you were having a conversation. I didn't want to sneak up like I was eavesdropping, and really, I didn't need help. Oh, Ignatz, you darling. You're so considerate. Thank you so very much. Glad to be of service. I'll start putting all this away. So fast. W what's the matter? Aren't you overdoing it? Don't you think you might be taking on too much? Hmm? Oh, uh, I didn't expect to hear that from you. <laughs> Let me give you some advice. It's true that I like to delegate as many tasks as I possibly can, but when someone helps me, I make sure to lavish them with praise as a reward for their hard work. So, then we come out even. On the other hand, look what almost happened just now. You did all that work for me, and I almost missed it. Now, where would that leave you? With no praise, no thanks. You'd be losing out. Um, personally, I'd prefer to lose out rather than inconvenience someone else. For instance, I'd have felt terrible for intruding on your important conversation earlier. Consider the negligible loss to me versus the major inconvenience to you. Personal loss is always going to be the better choice, right? Huh. Well, if that's how you feel, then I'm not sure how to convince you otherwise. No. I expected that to actually get resolved a different way, but uh, all right, fine, fine, very well. Leone. Oh, Professor, here's the map you... Well, it's always next time, I suppose. Hey, Ignatz, didn't you have something to talk to the professor about? Oh no, nothing urgent. You didn't cut short your conversation because of me, did you? Come on, do I seem like the type to do that? No, I just had a couple of questions about the bows. We're done now, so I thought I'd come and tell you. The bows? Is something wrong with them? Lots of them have come in for repairs lately, so I switched out some of the strings for stronger ones. They've been breaking less, but now they're harder to draw. Ah, I see. I suppose people would prefer if you went back to the lighter bowstrings. Maybe. If the only issue was the draw weight, I'd just tell people to get stronger arms. But the real problem is that you can't shoot as fast. The arrows also fly too far now. I can see how slower shooting is a drawback, but the arrows flying farther, that actually sounds like a good thing. Sure, on open planes, but up close you lose accuracy. That's why I thought it might be good to use different bowstrings for different scenarios. I wanted the professor's opinion about that. Oh, good point. You know a lot about bows, don't you? Guess I do. I grew up in a hunting village, so I've been around them my whole life. I wouldn't say I'm necessarily better than anyone, but at least I know what I'm doing. And you, do you have something you're really good at? <laughs> Me? Oh no, I, I don't think so. Well, I'm sure you'll find your thing someday. I hope so. You hope so. Oh, very well, Ignatz, with Petra. Ah! Ah! Out! Out! Oh, my glasses! Where are they? Where are they? 
Please take my apologies, Ignatz. I did not have enough care. That's okay, Petra. Just... Have you seen my glasses? Glasses? Ah, uh, yes! Transparent lenses for viewing things. Yes, exactly, yes. Hmm... Your face looks different without the glasses. Ah, well, I dropped them. That's why I'm looking for them. Are these them? Oh, thank the goddess. I thought I might be in trouble there. Are you okay, Petra? You're not hurt? I have no wounds. And you? I'm okay too. Thank you. That is goodness. How long have you needed the lenses anyway? Hmm? Oh, ages. I can't see without them. You've never used glasses, I gather. I guess you don't need them. In Bridget, glasses are not existing. I think all of our eyes must be good there. I kind of figured. <laughs> I'm a little jealous, to tell the truth. Inside the shadows, dangerous beasts are lurking. If you cannot see, you cannot live. So bad eyesight means death? Bridget sounds scary. You need to have sight for hunting, too. If not, you will starve until death. Oh, yeah. Lots of hunting in Bridget, right? I guess that requires good eyesight. I wonder why eyes would change and need lenses. I'd imagine in Bridget it's like, due to genetics and the gene pool and the people who had bad eyesight being the ones who were killed, or weren't fed, they wouldn't most likely have really, really good eyesight, just over time. It's like survival of the fittest, that sort of thing. So it's like, yeah, yeah. Right, so, the Sethia now, so we got three here. Nothing with Petra. Oh, I expected something with Petra. Alright, Marianne. Um... Oh, Marianne! There you are! Uh, Lysithia? What's all this commotion? What's happening? There's been an accident at the training grounds. A spell gone amok. Come on, we need all the help we can get over there. Oh no, but I don't know how I... We could really use your help before things get out of hand. Come on, hurry! I... I don't think I would be much help. Oh, for the goddess's sake! You won't know unless you try, will you? Don't decide you're of no use without even giving it a shot. Fine then, forget it. I'll go on my own. You can just stand here and stare at the wall. I... <sighs> I'm sorry. I can't do anything right. Oh, perhaps I took it too far. Hey, um, Marianne, do you have a minute? Listen. I'm sorry about all the stuff I said earlier. The situation was urgent, and I'll admit, I wasn't thinking clearly. I shouldn't have been so callous. I hurt your feelings, didn't I? No, it's fine. I'm the one to blame. Huh? But, hey, are you sure you're all... I'm the one who should apologize. All I did was get in your way. You would have made it to the training grounds much sooner if I hadn't slowed you down. Huh? Wait a second. It's all my fault. It's always my fault. The accident was probably my fault, too. You're being so... negative. I don't know what to say. You should hug her. That's what you should do. Jeez, it's clearly what she needed right there, right then. Oh, Hilda. Although, th th think about with Ignatz here. With Petra. It's like, I, I, I really like the way Petra speaks. There's something about it. It's like she conveys information so differently to everyone else, but it's like, it's, it, it's interesting, I like it. Aww, are you sure? Thank you so much! You're always so kind to me. I'll have to repay you sometime. <clears throat> hmm? Um, Lysithia? What are you doing there? Don't tell me you were listening just now, and judging me getting other people to do my work for me. I've got better things to do. 
Although, I do wonder why everyone is always so eager to help you. I only ask for help if they offer. I don't ever pressure people. So I've noticed. That's what strikes me as odd. I suppose they're just so taken with me they want to help me out. I see. That would explain it. Oh dear, I was expecting you to argue, not to agree with me right away. There's no reason to deny what's clearly true. Everything about your outward appearance is immaculate and well thought out. Even your fingernails are always well kept and painted. No doubt your toenails are the same. I can't tell if you're complimenting me or accusing me of something. And you smell delightful, like candy. Or wait, am I catching a hint of floral? I'm so glad you noticed. It's oil extracted from a flower that only blooms at night. Floral oils, huh? I didn't think they had much use outside of homeopathy and house cleaning. I have some right here, actually. Here, I can give you a splash. There we go. I put it on your wrist, so you'll want to rub them together. Body heat is what activates the scent. Your wrists and your neck are relatively warm, so they're good spots to apply the fragrance. For a very subtle fragrance, you can also try putting it under your clothing. <sighs> so, what do you think? Mmm, it's lovely. Now I smell just like you, Hilda. Somehow, this makes me feel a little more mature. Thank you. So that's it. She just wants to feel more grown up. She's hard to read, that one. That smile, though. Who knew she could be so cute? My. Alright, so... so She's an odd one, isn't she? Nisethia. She's just... So I'm like learning her temperament, just like, hmm. Like she seems to be lashing out because of the whole feeling like wanted to feel like a grown up, but why? <sighs> I I think I'm gonna pass out. <sighs> Whoa, Lysithia, you're really pale. Yeah, I've been feeling really queasy all morning. I'm just heading back to my quarters to rest. Can you even make it there in that state? Here, climb on my back. I'll carry you. What? What? No. No. I'm not some sort of... infant. Always worried about looking like a kid. No time for that now. Just get on. <sighs> I'm feeling a bit better now. I should be okay from here. Thank you so much, Leone. I hope I wasn't too heavy, was I? <laughs> no, not at all. It actually made for a fun bit of training. Uh, training? Yeah, carrying someone around is good for the legs. You're just the right weight for it, too. I might ask you to help me train again sometime. Anything can be a kind of training with the right attitude, you know? Are you always thinking about training? Well, I can't devote all my time purely to training. So, it's more efficient if I can train while I get other stuff done at the same time. Wouldn't that actually be rather inefficient? Huh? What do you mean? Well, for example, if you're training for endurance, it seems running would be a better approach. If you're only ever training by cramming it in with other tasks, you won't be getting the best results. I'm no expert on the subject, but even I can logic that one out. Come to think of it, you do always seem to stick to a pretty rigid schedule, don't you? I've noticed that you focus completely on whatever it is you've set out to do. Then you switch to something else and focus completely on that. You've noticed, have you? Now that I think about it, you may be right. Maybe that is the more efficient way to do things. Hey, you're really bright, Lysithia. Thanks so much for the helpful advice. That was sweet of Leonie to check on me and carry me all the way to my quarters. And in the end, I just lectured her. She did thank me for it, but uh, I probably could have handled that better. Yes, yes you could, but 
So the things where it's like the message is still getting through, which is good. So Marianne with Leone. Being kicked must have hurt, didn't it, Dorte? Do they think you won't gallop unless you're in pain? It must be difficult letting those brutes ride you. Hey, Marianne, what are you up to? Uh, n nothing. Really? I was sure I heard you talking to someone. By the way, are you free right now? Is there something you need? I was about to go buy towels and soap, but the girls saddled me with all these specific requests. They want it all to look cute or to smell a certain way, but all that's just nonsense to me. I've always made my own towels out of old scraps and soap from used cooking oil. I've never given it much thought beyond that. Oh. But I've noticed you've got some really nice things, so you have an eye for that stuff, right? Obviously, I'd give you all the credit, and I'm sure everyone would be really grateful for your help. No, no, I don't deserve that kind of praise. Really? I don't think that's true. Come on, you'll be doing me a big favor. My adoptive father tells me I shouldn't stray too far from the monastery. That's nonsense. You've got to get some fresh air now and again. I should stay. Besides, I wouldn't be much help. I don't think anyone would like whatever I pick out anyway. It would all go to waste. And I'm sure that having me around would just cause you misfortune, Leonie. Are you serious? I should stay here by myself. Now, hold on just a second. You'll cause me misfortune? What kind of backwards talk is that? If you really don't want me around, then at least come out and say it straight. I'm sorry for the unwelcome invitation. Don't worry, I won't make the same mistake again. <sighs> so this is like, there's several characters in this. So I just want to give a hug. It's like, oh no. It's like, you just... You're just misunderstanding each other, you poor fools. You poor fools. But anyway, we're finally done with those scenes. So like I said, it would get quicker towards the end because... It's cro cross-referencing with each other on the list, isn't it? So it's like, yeah, it's less and less and less and less and less. Right, so. This will end today's free time. Yes. It's connecting. What's it connecting to, though? <gasps> oh, my God. Instruct manually. I don't, li I don't like what it did last time. Okay, so instruct. Again with Hilda here. Let's get our axes up. Bam bam bam. Bam bam bam. Bam bam bam. Um, yeah. A level seven. A level seven. Beautiful. Marianne, because I know you can be a force to be w reckoned with, really. Just spam away, spam away, spam away. Lovely, lovely. Um, Lorenz as well will get, get his, uh, what is it, reason? Yes, reason up. Although I do want his authority up as well. This was hardly a... <laughs> ba -ba -ba come to under Let me go as D. That should beginning to maybe allow me to get those, um, fire types that I want. Let's get your reason up. This Ba -ba Claude, let's go with your bows. That was <laughs> good. That was. Ba -ba 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 okay, Lysithia. No, I don't have any uh, activity points left. Let's see the group tasks then. Go back to the stable duty, Lens. And Marianne. Yes. Let's begin the lecture. I have a question. Go on then. I see. Thank you. I pressed it because it was taking so long and I don't know what I just told him to do. Damn it. Professor? What? You know, jousting is a popular sport in Fargus. The ladies love a guy who can joust, apparently. Speaking of, let's polish up my riding and lance skills. 
Mm, on then. I suppose I should treat him all right, shouldn't I? He's part of the group now. Saint Calithian Day is today. There will be a hymn recited in the cathedral. Will you participate? Yes. It's hard to sneak out when the professor is watching. Me, 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 me. Something appears to be wrong with my throat. Oh dear. It's Flane's birthday. Host a tea party? Oh my! And tea parties. Host tea parties to bond with your allies, to charm, cha. Stats of Baileth and guests will increase too. If you are a good host. I, I hope I would be. Oh my. Try to pick conversation topics that you think your guests will like. If they're having fun, they might choose topics on their own as well. Keep your guests happy and they will stay as long as you like. Oh my. I gotta, I gotta get a picture of this like right now. Just, just so Sarah can see what is going on. Because I want to show her. It's like, it's just doing thing of like, it's like, eh, hey, we can talk and stuff. It's like, but I need to show her why I'm not talking. Which is like, I'm having a tea party. Yes. Yes. Oh, so I'm thinking, oh, cleansing herbal. We'll go with a crescent moon tea. Because it's a three star tea. Yes. Fermented dried seeds. Seeds. Blended with tea leaves. It has a soft and subtle flavor, akin to the gentle light of the moon. I am honored that you invited me. You know about my favorite tea. I am moved. Yeah, I knew that. Offer some tea. I am ever so grateful. Delicious. So it looks like I like this like menu set we got here. Also, like the little biscuits we have down there. Looks like some cookies. Um, let's put the monastery rules. Oh. Um, I like the idea the mysteries don't know her well enough, though, that if, whether or not she'll like that. Yeah. This tea party's not going well, is it? Oh. At least we have the tea. That tea was very delicious. Please take care, Professor. That could have gone better. I've not interacted with her enough to know. I went up. Well, that'll do. I've had better tea parties, obviously. Together, we will do just fine. I'll do what I can. That wasn't so bad. <laughs> I was expecting that. I said, that wasn't so bad. Perfect! Like, wait, what? Yes, 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 yes. Hmm, I see. Hmm. Oh, yeah! Getting the hang of it! I'm getting the hang of it. Q. Alright, so obviously this is a lovely place to end this part. Why do people go seminar at this point? Why do people choose seminar now? I don't know, because it's in my head. I'm I'm thinking battle, maybe. I have all the all the options. It's sort of like, although probably not best to do battle. Yeah, it's like out of everything we can do, seminar probably is right because we've already done the explore the battle. I don't feel like I need to do because I've already leveled up quite a bit. So yeah, seminar is probably right for me. What do we get out of rest? Motivation with your allies will increase. Yeah, I'm thinking seminar is probably best for us. Let's have a look at the armory. It's not what I actually want to do. I want to do the item shop. It's like anything I want here, probably not. But let's do certifications here, because we did have the option to unlock more, didn't we? Oh yeah, it seems like you've got that, haven't you? I'm not sure what to go with him just yet. Need to get ah, him up. Okay. Change that for now. Like, um, hmm, not sure. 
Marianne, though, we need to get you sorted because we did get a thingy, didn't we? From one of the um, traveling merchant thingies. Do, 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 do. I actually passed? Yes. Yes, you did. Ignats. These ones are just for the stats. That we could potentially get. I'm not sure which ones do give them stuff. I can't so it's like we'll just get them all just to be sure. Assume that would be a good idea. Boom, 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 boom! Was there any doubt? No. Alright then, so I think we're done with the certifications, etc. So... Unless there's some potential... Hmm. I don't know, I'm just very like, confused like what he should be. I should learn more about him. I think we'll do that in a battle that's going to be coming up. Probably. But we'll end this part here, and in the next part, we'll go off and do the seminar. So we'll see you then. Ta-ta for now.